family it's the mobile home diva and in today's video we're going to tour this cavalier home the name of this home is the lloyd this is the lloyd you guys it is a cavalier home it is my today has been my first time touring cavalier home so i'm super excited can't wait to show you what it looks like look at the stonework here on the outside really lovely i would absolutely put uh the brick underpin um as the same stone uh and i think that would be beautiful put a nice porch out here really lovely really look really lovely okay immediately what i like when i first open the door is you have this dedicated foyer space love the arch that leads into the dining room i think it's really really nice let's turn around so you can really get a good look at the foyer all of this is dedicated foyer space like you could put two tables one here and one there both with lamps you could do a long console table you could do a table and a bench you could just get creative in the space love the fact that there's pendant lighting in this hallway nice bright welcome home you've got dark floors in here and then you've got your living room off to the right of the front door not just open to the door but you've got this opening into your living room this is really cozy not because of the size because it's a nice size but it's cozy because it has such a, a homely feel like you've got this big beautiful real fireplace with a mantle you got the cutouts on either side you can put a 65 inch tv up there no problem really nice love it i love it love it love it so this is like welcome home this is a nice area to come home to you've got your uh beams in the ceiling love it love it love it love it got your recessed ceiling up there really pretty really really nice so now from the front door again we'll go back to the right you have your living room in that area all of this is open but but not completely open like i love the feel of this through this archway it leads to the dining room you've got uh two doors here actually just this side open well it looks like both sides are open really nice oh no just this one side opens uh but i love the fact that it's just not one door that's a stopper there to stop the door really nice really lovely i could see a big deck out there with lots of space for entertaining easy access to the deck really nice all of this is dining room so you've got a lot of space to entertain what i whatever size table floats your boat could go in all of this space all of that is dining room off to the right of the dining room you've got your kitchen love that you've got this area here for storage in your island space for probably three bar stools maybe four depending on how large or how small they are you've got um lots of storage space around the refrigerator love it love the glass uh cabinets on either side of the built-in microwave really nice you've got drawers and cabinet space in here pendant lighting over the island and i love the the shape of this window this large large window opens really lovely really nice black appliances in here love that the sink complements it and you've got all this storage in this in this kitchen so this is from the living room into the kitchen and dining room now this door off of your back door to the porch is pantry 
Look at all this pantry space you got. Guys, you got a transom window in the pantry. All of the shelving here. Like they really maximize the space. You don't have to add additional shelving. They did it for you. How thoughtful was that? So you got all of this pantry space. You can put appliances and food stuff in this pantry or storage or just whatever you like. Like you may not even need to use this for food stuff depending on how much space you need. You may just need this for appliances or storage or crafts or whatever you desire really nice all right back to the foyer to the left of the dining room and kitchen you've got this hallway that leads to the additional bedrooms so the first is so dark in here you guys the first door to the right is sorry about that so this is the bathroom the toilet's not in here yet but this is the guest bathroom or is this a powder room this is a powder room, you guys. So you got a powder room, you got a toilet, goes here, and you got your sink there. And you got all of the space in here to do a little decor, maybe put a table over in the corner or what have you. So this is a powder room, all right? So the first door on the right is a powder room. And then you've got your utility room here, that's your Another back door, because this faces the back as well. You've got space over here for a deep freezer. When you first walk into the laundry room, to the left, your washer and dryer would go here. You've got sh uh, the shelving up top, and you can also hang items up there. And then you also have a another little nook in this corner, which of course, I would put some hooks over here and have like a little mud room area so people could come in, sit on the bench, take their shoes off, hang them up on the hooks and whatnot coming through that door. So you got the door that leads out to the deck and then you've got this other back door for everyday use. Really pretty. All right, off the guest bathroom, you have a family room. What a nice little bonus. It's not a huge area, but you've got space for maybe a man cave or the kids play area or just the family room, craft room, office, whatever you desire. You've got space for your TV, not a large TV, maybe a 55, 60 inch TV up there. And I love the shelves on either side. So you can put games and all types of things, books, toys, whatever you need up there. This room has a ceiling fan and you've got two windows to bring in light. I'm gonna go ahead and open these windows so you can see a little, uh, make it a little. There you go. All right, so all of this space is that bonus room. Really nice. You've got an additional bedroom here. This is a three bedroom, two bath. So this is bedroom number one right here I'll try to squeeze past the siding so you can see the closet you've got a walk-in i can't get to it i'm sorry but you have a cattle corner walk-in closet right there really nice so that is bedroom number one You've got a guest bath here with ample space. You've got a large cabinet and three drawers. Love the counter space in there. Really nice. And then this is guest bedroom number two. So this will give us an idea because they're the same size. How big that room is. You've got two rooms this size. And then two cat corner walk-in closets. Okay? Really nice. I'll go back out and let you see. Love that they're down here by the by the additional bedrooms because if not if push comes to shove, this is the kids' classroom, playroom, hangout area. You don't have to worry about them disturbing the rest of your house. 
Now, as for me and my husband, this would be his man cave. Yeah, no me allowed. <laughs> All right, through the kitchen, we'll go take a look at the master. The master is down this little hallway. I love it. Privacy, privacy, privacy. All of this is your master. You've got a ceiling fan in here. Really nice. Y'all know I always look at the floor so you can get an idea, a better idea of how this bigger, how big the space is. Into the master bath, you've got your double sinks here to the right. Love that you've got storage space over here. Let me walk over here so you can see. So you've got three cabinets for storage in addition to shelving and cabinets above the sink. Love it. Next to those sinks, you've got your toilet room with a door. You've got a soaker tub there with frosted glass. That window doesn't open, but that glass is frosted. And the window in the bathroom opens, which is A+. Plus. Wish we had it. You've got your large shower over here rain shower shower head and your regular shower head handheld shower head love the tile in there i love that it's not all going the same way love the look that it gives step into the shower there and then here is your master closet really nice You've got a transom window in this closet. So you got natural light in here. Really nice. All right. So again, this is the Lloyd, you guys. This is the Lloyd. It's a three bedroom, two bath. It's made by Cavalier Homes. And all of the information that I have on this home is going to be down in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching.